Good afternoon, NCCP and friends. Good afternoon, Pastor Melissa. Hi, Pastor John. It's great to be with you for this week's Yo NCCP, where it's been an exciting week around the parish. That's right. We've had Vacation Bible School, Operation Overboard, which is actually our second edition of uh, Camp for Kids this summer, and it's been a wonderful way to reach out to the community and for our own children to grow in their faith. And you say for kids, but grown-ups got in on the action too, as you've been teaching them a class that goes along with all the lessons that you've learned, from that's, Noah to you know some of those other right. great stories. John the Baptist and the servant girl that helped Naaman along in his faith. And so, yeah, we've been studying going deep in our faith, just as the kids have. And of course, it doesn't end with VBS. Of course, you know, in the fall, we're going to be gearing up again with, with Sunday school at all of our locations, but also lots of uh, items on the menu to continue with faith formation. So if you got your appetite whetted uh, this week, then, you know, maybe you want to start thinking about what kind of classes you'd like to take part in in the fall, and especially, you know, as we have Elevate and other studies coming up. That's right. Still, the best way to get connected with God is through prayer and scripture reading and study. And the best way to grow in our faith is through small groups. And so you'll have plenty of opportunities this fall. Um, we want to also take a look at what's coming ahead this week in the parish. Uh, this is a week of meetings. We don't have many of those, but uh, make sure you check your bulletin for specific information about uh, some church council meetings and some uh SPRC meetings, but the one I really want to highlight is the lay care team. You know, we've been almost a year with this model of the lay care team, and we're going to be having a, a gathering at St. John's on Thursday night, the 15th at 7 p.m. Uh, to talk about that. So yeah, and that's um, the care team is a way that we make sure and we can ensure that everyone is being cared for, that um, and for a lack of a better phrase, that no one falls through the cracks of communication. You know, especially if someone's in the hospital, we need to know. And so, you know, we work on how do we get that information out in multiple ways. You know, telephone, uh, face to face, text, emails, Facebook. Not, I guess we don't do prayer on Facebook, uh, but you get the point. I'm just kind of kidding with that. Um, but anyway, and if you're, and so if you're interested in helping that along or going out and visiting people and helping us do that, then you know, just come on and check it out. Uh, Thursday night at 7. And while we're thinking about it, while you're at worship, um, we're trying to pull together a more regular, an updated list, so to speak, of all of our homebound members. So if right now you can think of somebody who is homebound, and maybe they've moved from the care, care facility that they were in to a new place, or they might have moved in with a family member, if you have an update about someone who is homebound, go ahead and jot that down. Either send it via email to us at nccpcares at gmail.com, or you can just drop that update into any of the offering plates because we want to, as the care team comes together, we want to be able to use that information to establish routine care. Um, and this is also a great tool if you know an individual who needs to receive Holy Communion in their home, uh, make sure you communicate that to us. Okay, and you said this was a busy week, and indeed it is because this is also Carnival Week. If you live, work, or play in Hampstead, uh, this is your big week, and so uh, there'll be lots of activities going on at the fire department. It's a great way to support our local fire department, uh, as we had a chance to do in the early part of the summer in Manchester, and, and we want to support all the local fire departments and ambulance services, and this is our chance to do so and have some fun while we do it. Uh, so everybody, just enjoy these weeks of summer, and uh, grace and peace be with you till, I, till we see you again. God bless.